Welcome back to Why in the Morning at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at... Um, online marketing strategist and in studio I'm joined with Catherine Kakai. She is a digital uh, media strategist. Hi Catherine. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. Karibu sana Thank you. All right, so um, I've just mentioned your title, right? Uh, that's what you do. Tell us who Catherine is. Um, uh, my name is Catherine Kakai. Mm -hmm. I'm a digital media strategist. Mm -hmm. I specialize in um, social media management, uh, content creation, branding, digital marketing, uh, copywriting, graphic design, and photography. So basically, I help brands uh, with digital strategies for them to to be able to to create brand awareness on digital platforms such as social media. All right, fantastic, guys. Back at home. See, this is the conversation for you. If you're a vlogger, if you have, you know, you do YouTube things, content creation. This is the place for you to be. Remember at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my socials. So Catherine, yes. when growing up, is this something that you like you foreseen? Is this what did you desire to be when you just growing up? Went through life. Actually, growing mm -hmm. up I wanted to be a lawyer. But mm -hmm. that that dream died in form two. Mm -hmm. But now when I was going to campus, I really wanted to do journalism. So I studied communication and media. Mm -hmm. And from the moment I started doing journalism, I was in love with social media. I okay. love spending a lot of time on social media, just socialize with people. But with time, uh, I was able to learn that actually it can be a career. Okay. And when I decided that that's the career path I wanted to be, I ensured I grew towards that direction. All right, so who is a digital media strategist? Uh, digital media strategist is a person who offers uh, digital uh, strategies for brands. Uh, for digital platforms such as social media, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think a particular, particular section, yeah, uh, it's most definitely clear that every business should have an online presence. Yes. And this uh, came to pass and killed to a call, especially after COVID-19 happened and the regulations uh, whereby now we moved digital. So what is the best strategy to sell digital? Uh, actually, you have to, for brands like now, uh, we now we, we are in a technological world and we are growing mm -hmm. and according to statistics uh, uh, only are so internet users there are so many mm -hmm. so for brands to one of the thing or one of the strategies is having a social media presence and ensuring you do uh, market research for your target audience yes okay uh, allow me to take you back uh, Kidogo so tell us for, any, for anyone who's watching this conversation that we are having and they want to get into this space, now they have like a, a clear uh, uh, brief or just uh, of what you do and they would love to be in this particular space. What sort of educational background does one need to have? <laughs> Actually, uh, nowadays it's so there's access of information thanks okay. to internet mm -hmm. and online. So you can learn a skill just from the various platforms, YouTube, uh, there are online platforms that give online courses. So you decide what you want to do. If it's mm -hmm. digital marketing like me, even Google has L Google Learn Digital where you can go and learn digital marketing skills. So there are various platforms like YouTube, uh, they, uh, Udemy, they offer free courses for young people. Also for anyone who wants to learn and perfect their skills. Yes. So all I need is uh, my smartphone, uh, Wi-Fi or even bundles. Yes. And I have the information. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> For how long have you been doing this? Uh, professionally, three years now. Okay. But like I told you, the moment I joined campus, I was mm -hmm. like this and decided this is the line I'm taking. I decided to grow in that line. All right. So uh, for a business, so this is a business startup. Uh, we are coming up. We are thinking about how to set up, right? So what are a couple of requirements for a business startup to just uh, put in mind about the business before embarking in a, in a digital marketing space? Uh, doing market research for your target audience because you know like now for like now digital platforms like social media not each one of them has a purpose each one of them has statistics of the kind of people who are there at least your target audience so you need to do market research to know like who are your audience who are your target audience are you targeting like if you're dealing with the product that targets young girls or women between uh, 20 to 30 
which platform can you get them? So doing a market research and also ensuring that the, right, the platform you're choosing, it has the audience you're targeting, will make you succeed. Okay, yes. still on a target audience, when it comes to, now let's shift, content creation. What determines the best uh, outlet for a particular piece of uh, content? Creativity and uh, getting also market trends, what's happening, like uh, what do people like? Do people like short videos? Do people like long videos? Because uh, that things keep changing, like uh, with digital, actually with digital media, you cannot predict that uh, this will be here for long, like something can come up, like you remember back then, there was a time Snapchat was I was the to, in thing. <laughs> now it's TikTok. Yes. And you never know, another platform can come that is better than TikTok. So you need to be researching mm -hmm. and you get to know what's trending, like what are people, which, which, uh, which platform are people going to so that you can also move there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And how can you identify, because if I'm a content creator, I don't want to waste time, right? There's so many apps coming up. As you have said, there was Snapchat, there is still Snapchat, but there was a time it was like the in thing. Yes. Now we have TikTok. And then there's so much going on. Uh, there was a time even Messenger was an in thing. But now, how do I avoid now not to waste time just to, you know, acquire this app and just create a following, you know, uh, tell people on my social, find me on this particular app. How will I know that this app is actually going to hit and I'm going to make a name of myself in this particular platform? Actually, when you do statistics, like you're able to know which platforms people are using majorly. Like, you know, you're able to know, like, if you want young people, like models, you know, you'll find them on Instagram. That mm -hmm. is according to research. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe bec uh, we know because we have a background in digital uh, media. But now, for somebody who doesn't know, there's statistics online, the mm -hmm. platforms that provide statistics. If you want, Facebook, if you want uh, Twitter. Twitter, they'll tell you what kind of audience is ah. there. And actually, uh, those platforms, they have campaigns. Mm -hmm. And your campaigns, you can target, the, target them to specific audience, even age group and things like that. So as much as Facebook has a variety of, uh, of, of, of audience, you can maybe when you're creating content, you ensure you're doing campaigns that target your target audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So uh, I'm so sure you're... Uh, you're you know, part of this uh, team that says uh, business owners, uh, uh, different personalities maybe in, uh, in business, in career-wise, different careers that are as should have an impactful online presence. Uh, break it down for us. What does that entail? Uh, having an, an on, online presence uh, includes having a social media platform okay. and also not just having it and it's there dormant having uh, content on the platform, plus not just any kind of content, engaging. Like, you know, people don't have time to waste time on things that are not creative or mm -hmm. things that are not inspiring. Because like when you're scrolling on social media, do you just read everything? Uh, no. No, you just go specific to things that interest you. Mm -hmm. So being, being creative, having a social media platform mm -hmm. and ensuring the content is engaging and mm -hmm. also uh, interacting with your audience okay. like the people who are on your platforms like if i was to comment on who is the famous azad mm -hmm. uh, page mm -hmm. and she replies i'll mm -hmm. feel so good and i'll never leave her page okay so also interacting with the uh with your audience as a person if you have a social media platform ensure you're interacting with your clients and also they uh, not your clients your audience and also you, uh, the, the people who have the content you're creating it meets their needs all right yes so it's not just put, posting pictures and videos no, and no, leaving no, my no, social no. until next time it's not about that okay. because you know like now kenyans if it's Take, for example, Kenyans. Kenyans are very hard to please. And it, it can tell you, like, when the YouTube channels, they are, people are opening up YouTube channels. So you find some people commenting, it's boring. <laughs> Go research, do mm -hmm. more research. It's not creative and things like that, yes. Okay. Uh, speaking of, still speaking about uh, our target market and audience. Uh, so how should companies measure their social media marketing success? If I'm using a platform to just... Uh, uh, advertise mm -hmm. different brands maybe it's a business maybe i'm a personality mm -hmm. uh, in a different career so how how can a business just measure uh, their social media marketing success most of those social media platforms they give you page insights mm -hmm. like the, you can be able to track how many engagements you had how many people are able to see the content you created on your platform and also we have <coughs> 
other apps or softwares you can use like Google Analytics to be able to track progress of how your page is doing. Yes. All right. So I have a couple of friends who um, they don't uh, have a LinkedIn presence and I always tell them that it is important also to network and socialize. Is there a way that you can use LinkedIn for marketing? Yes. Actually, LinkedIn is a very good platform because basically it's for professionals and you can market even your skills. And one thing I like to tell young, young people, like platforms like LinkedIn, they can really help you. You never know, like a skill you're having out there could be your, your potential client could be on LinkedIn or your potential employer could be on LinkedIn. So having a, a, a LinkedIn presence will help you when you're job searching mm -hmm. or also when you have a skill that you, you want the world to know. Mm -hmm. Actually, me, I use such kind of platforms and through LinkedIn, uh, I've been able to get a lot of, uh, uh, ne I've networked with potential clients mm -hmm. and very important people. All right. Yes. So we have Stacy from Nakuru. She's asking, how can I take control of my brand online through social media marketing? Because all those have like those negative reviews. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yes, I want to be present online. But again, how can I curb the whole situation of negativity? Actually, social media can be toxic at some point. Mm -hmm. But the things you can ignore. Like if you're doing the right thing, you can ignore because people will always have something to, to talk. Mm -hmm. We have had uh, media personalities being or influencers being body shamed. But if you're doing the right thing, you just do your thing mm -hmm. because you cannot control. If you, even if you say you'll keep deleting the negative comments, mm -hmm. sometimes you just have to ignore. Though it's hard because it can get to you, like especially if you're body shamed. But you know, like everyone gets into social media with their own purpose. People are struggling with their own issues, so maybe they're looking for somewhere to release their anger. So sometimes ignore. Do what you're doing, give it your best. As long as you're doing your best, I'm sure that the good people are giving you positive feedback. Mm -hmm. If everyone is saying this is bad, you can go and analyze and say, is it worth it? Or if they're saying maybe your videos are not clear, you can go and improve on the quality. That is a valid thing. But if somebody just comes and say, you're fat, Body shaming. Body shaming, which oh, is wrong. Right. You can just ignore them. Okay. So what are some uh, common social media uh, marketing mistakes that uh, uh, businesses make, especially during the early stages of starting out? Most startups or people lack patience because like um, when you social media and digital platforms, it takes time. You cannot just start today and you have a thousand fol uh, a th uh, ten thousand followers it takes process and then also you can have the followers but they will not automatically uh, translate to your clients okay so you need to have patience but I'm sure out of the ten thousand at least you'll get five mm -hmm. or even ten mm -hmm. slowly you progress and make progress but most startups want like now if they engage a digital media strategist they they if you if you don't bring it like they're not getting clients they will fire you they, like, they don't see your work mm -hmm. <coughs> and you're like big brands like safaricom mm -hmm. they have uh, social they're making money they mm -hmm. are known but mm -hmm. they still have platforms because having a social media platforms help you connect to the already existing clients and new clients plus you need people need to know you exist mm. you still there in the market okay. that you have not been out uh, like you're not out in the market like we need to know safaricom is still there as much as they, they already have uh clients okay let's speak on the aspect of creating a particular certain perception we have situations whereby content creators even artists currently this is a conversation going on trending that we have artists who are buying views so is this something that is advisable and uh, is it is it workable is it effective is it impactful uh, at some point, yes. Are they real people? <laughs> <laughs> At some point, no. Uh -huh. Because like now, if you are a content creator, you uh -huh. need to connect with your loyal fans. Mm -hmm. But now if you buy those viewership, these are people that they don't connect with you. And like when you build the base, the base of you have a connection with your client, with your audience, they're able to know like they'll be waiting. You mm -hmm. see the premium gangs on, on YouTube, they're waiting like they've seen somebody has uploaded mm -hmm. their content. And you'll see, that's why you see like the platforms, they have a lot of followers but now when you check the comments the engagements they're zero mm -hmm. probably they bought mm. they bought the viewership you see? oh yeah because they had some comment section whereby they were saying uh in this particular thing, allegedly uh, there's an artist they are claiming that they're buying uh views on youtube and when you look about on their likes there are fewer likes but the views are over millions yes yes okay so 
that how it, that that's how it goes but it's you know it's good when you build your brand mm -hmm. with the people you can connect with and you relate with so it's much better that way than just buying people who are not even interested all right so we have jonte from kisumu is yeah he's asking how long does it take uh, before uh you know, he starts seeing results from social media marketing. I think that's the same question where we were talking about patience, patients. Yes. All right. So what is email marketing and is it still effective in today's age? Yes. Email marketing involves uh, like having people get to, to, to know about you through emails. Mm -hmm. Like um, if you, you have a website, mm -hmm. people can log into your website and they can be getting notification just like SMS on their emails. Like if you have uh, offers or you have new products and things like it's very effective like personally most people nowadays uh you like we have a lot we spend a lot of time on online like if i want to know what is happening on bbc mm -hmm. and i cannot access the channel i have subscribed to their emails so i get to see what they have posted and things like that so email it's very effective because nowadays is there anyone who doesn't check their email? <laughs> mm, no, if you are in the business world, you have to. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Most people, like in the, being online uh, and through the internet, you have to check your email daily. In, when you wake up in the morning, you check your email, maybe a client or a job you applied. So it's very effective because there are so many people who, who, who check their uh, email and you're, you're able to connect with your clients at personal level because you can even con uh, personalize the messages you're sending Dear Catherine, uh -huh. uh, we have posted this, watch this, okay. things like that. So that's the way that actually increases the, you know, the click through it. Yes, yes, sure, sure. Personalization of content. Yes, and actually through email marketing, you can target your other platforms. Maybe you've done a podcast okay. or you have a YouTube video. Like maybe they have not logged into YouTube, but you can notify them through the email that, hey, uh, this is up on my YouTube channel. Hey, check this, my podcast is out. Yes. What do you tell your parents that you do for a living? <laughs> Because I'm trying to imagine explaining that, especially to, you know, our African mothers and, yes, and yes. fathers. <laughs> yeah, it's, but now at least they understand the noise, before. Okay. They were like, you know, African parents, they have the mentality of mm. age to five. Yes. As lo you know, if you're not going to a physical office, mm. what are you even doing? <laughs> yes. So what are some of, uh, you know, general uh, tips for social media success? Uh, like I said, it comes to marketing. Yeah. Marketing, uh, f like now already, you by the time you're thinking it's social media, you have a niche of what you you're doing or what you want to do. Like I said, ma doing a market research mm -hmm. and understanding what your audience is all about, yes. so that you ensure your strategies are aimed at targeting your own audience and your content is engaging and mm -hmm. creativity. Plus, there mm -hmm. the rules that apply on the platforms. Okay. Like for instance, on Facebook, when you're posting, Facebook gives a lot of air on newsfeed for top, uh, for titles and, and topics that spark conversation because the social media platform so if you just post your picture blankly like that and maybe it does not spark conversation it may not get a lot of viewership and something like that but now when you understand how it works like now for instagram hashtag do the hashtags do work for twitter also hashtags do work so understanding how these platforms work like what works on on like face instagram we know it's pictures so mm -hmm. ensure you're posting quality pictures facebook ensure you're you're doing conversational you're posting conversational content so understanding how these platforms work their rules and and uh, what involves uh, the content in the, in the platforms will be able to see you succeed in the platforms. Ah, oh, fantastic. So when it comes to content marketing, what are the steps to developing a content uh, marketing strategy? Uh, <coughs> first, uh, finding a niche. Secondly, uh, doing an audience research. Mm -hmm. Also uh, doing a competitor's research you get to see what, what are your competi competitors doing, doing yeah. yes and then now implementing uh, the strategies that like now you've seen this is this doing also research on, on what are the trending the trending uh, what are people other people doing mm -hmm. like uh, like now there are things like stories stories have been brought the stories on on twitter mm -hmm. or in, on instagram on linkedin mm -hmm. so you see what the trending uh, things that are happening and mm -hmm. ensure you implement them Okay. Yes. So there's one need to, you know, to be const constantly create new content because there's a point whereby you get, as a creative, you get a blockage. Like you're trying, but nothing is coming through. You're not being creative. You're really trying, but it's just like a blockage. Consistency is key, especially on social media, alongside with patience. 
consistency is key. Like you, you might be thinking people are not noticing you, but the moment you take a break, they'll be like, why did you stop creating content? Mm -hmm. And people could be, they could not be responding, but they're actually following. But consistency is key. Don't give up, mm -hmm. have patience. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not seeing results, keep doing and also like look for if you don't have the skills you can look for a digital media strategist to mm -hmm. guide you mm -hmm. and tell you like this is what you're doing wrong mm -hmm. this is what we can do and things like that uh -huh. on there looking for a media <laughs> digital <laughs> media strategist in a situation whereby I, I was you know doing constant uh, posting and um, probably vlogging as a content creator and things happened life happened yeah i stopped doing it so how do i do a, like a comeback when it comes to vlogging and youtube and now my people are waiting you know i neglected them <laughs> <laughs> at a particular time mm -hmm. uh, so how do i do a comeback uh, you can do a video mm -hmm. to tell them like what you've been up to why you, t you took a break like i've seen somebody like Kate Actress mm -hmm. because like you see most social media influencers most of them have other parts of their life mm -hmm. they're dealing with maybe they're into business they're mm -hmm. into acting so like for Kate Actress at some point she was busy with her life she took a break from her YouTube channel then she did a video and advertised it on her platform that hey I'm back sorry I've been I've been this and this your audience will be able to understand ah we took a break for a reason mm -hmm. maybe you were unwell or things were busy and things like that and now you you ensure you're coming up with something better to keep them and to keep them glued Okay, yes. all right. So for someone who has watched uh, this conversation till now, since we started, and they're still questioning, why do I need a digital media strategist? What would you tell them? Actually, you, you see, um, as a digital media strategist, I ensure I... I'm always researching to mm -hmm. ensure I'm implementing the best strategies for you, for brands, mm -hmm. because that is what I do for brands. Mm -hmm. Plus, most people are busy. And then one of the things with social media platforms, you need to, to be creating immediate feedback. Like you as a person, like now you have your own social media platforms. We are, we are here on TV. Like if somebody has commented on your page, have you been able to go and see like, and reply to them? things like that. So I come in when you're busy with your other things. You can be running other things of the business. Me, I'm, you just relax me. I'm there checking, replying your comments and things like that. And, that, and, and the audience actually feels good when you instantly reply. Oh, so managing social media handles. Yes. Okay. All right. So looking back in this journey, um, uh, what are a couple of achievements that you look back and be like, mm, I don't regret taking this particular leap? <laughs> uh, uh, actually, I've been able to network and find the uh, amazing people plus i've been able to encourage young people like actually what triggered uh, what influenced me to to venture into digital marketing and going public with my skills was you know <coughs> job hunting can be daunting in 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 kenya Very at sure. some point Very sure. but social media is a good tool i decided to use i was using it for other people i didn't know it will work for me mm -hmm. so i branded myself branded my platforms and i went public with my skills. Actually, there's a post I did on LinkedIn. It had 14,000 views. Amazing. And I got international inquiries. Like, people were like, I was like, so I've been helping other people <laughs> market their business. I could market my skills. Make money out of what you love. Yes. Yeah. Actually, even if you're, you're into chapati business yes. or mandazis, yes. market yourself online. Make sure you have a social media presence because okay. people are making money. Mm -hmm. Your clients are there on social media waiting for you. All right. A yes. couple of challenges that you've faced along this journey. Uh, one of the things is keeping up with the trends. They keep changing. So you, I'm constantly on research, doing research because the same trends we were applying last year, we can't apply them this year. So mm -hmm. that is one bit. And then another thing, like when you're dealing especially with startups, mm -hmm. like we had talked about patients. Yes. People want to see yes. results yes. immediately. Yes. When they engage you and they don't see, they feel like you're not, you're not doing work when mm -hmm. they don't see like they're getting clients. They don't mm -hmm. know that it's beyond that and mm -hmm. it takes patience. So mm -hmm. dealing with startups has been a challenge, especially those who don't understand the importance of social media presence and a social media manager or a digital media strategist. But I try to explain to my clients, this is what I do, this is what I do. And those who see, like, actually you're doing something for them, mm -hmm. they appreciate it. All right. Great, great. So I guess people back at home, uh, if you're not going to take anything 
from this conversation just take the fact that you should be patient and consistent and love what you do and stick by it and make sure you make good money out of it sure, <laughs> so sure. how can people find your clothes on social media handles if they want to keep this conversation going uh, on Facebook and LinkedIn you can find me on Kakai the digital media strategist and on Instagram and uh, Twitter the digital media strategist at Kakai Digital. Oh, yes. right. There you have it. That is Catherine Kakai, uh, digital media strategist. So make sure you follow up with her. Uh, keep the conversation going across all our social media handles. That is at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira. So you can find me across all my social. Catherine, thank you very much for creating time to be with us. Thank you too. All right. So Ramaguko will be coming up with another interview uh, on, uh, on, uh, on the health segment. So make sure you stay tuned. So we have so much coming your way right here on Y in the morning. Remember, if it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 channel, so you can find us across all our social media handles.